the Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology, or POST, bridges research and policy and is one of the longest running legislative science advice mechanisms in the world. We provide parliamentarians with up-to-date research evidence and expertise to inform legislation and scrutiny. Our work is forward-thinking, impactful, and is the product of over 30 years of review and development. It all started in 1985, when a group of parliamentarians visited the USA to see the first example of parliamentary technology assessment in the world, the OTA. Inspired by the OTA, in 1988, parliamentarians and members of the science and technology community started a charity to fundraise for the UK Parliament's very own office. Within just one year, the charity raised about £100,000 to set up an external science advice office called POST and began recruiting the office's first director. But it was born with a very modest budget and so staff were only employed on temporary contracts. POST's continued fundraising allowed the team to grow and the first three POST sections were born. Biology and Health, Energy and Environment and Physical Sciences and ICT. Funding was not always certain, but in 1992, after a review, parliamentarians decided by one vote to fund posts for three years, bringing the office into Parliament. A second review in 1995 secured funding for a further five years. At this time, PhD students started to come to posts to do fellowships. Post fellows write briefings or assist select committees or libraries. For more than 20 years, POST has trained the next generation of policy-wise academics and Parliament has benefited from greater access to research evidence. In 2000, POST was reviewed for a third time. The POST Board successfully advocated for the office to become a permanent feature of the UK Parliament and with additional funds from Parliament, POST almost doubled in size. In 2013, POST secured funding from the Economic and Social Research Council to allow the creation of a fourth section, the Social Sciences section was born. In 2018, with continued funding from the ESRC, POST created the Knowledge Exchange Unit, a team coordinating and strengthening the flow of information and expertise between UK Parliament and the academic community. Over the years, post work has had significant and varied impacts in Parliament, including informing debates, committee inquiries, and the passing of legislation. Post impacts have felt beyond Parliament, in wider society, where its work is used in the justice system, the academic community, the media, and even inspires other nations. The Post Board started Post Journey in 1985 helped to secure funding and recognition, and has shaped an extensive portfolio of research evidence support that parliamentarians can draw upon today. To find out more about how Post bridges research and policy, go to post.parliament.uk.